make your wire scorpion, you're going to need 16 pieces of wire. You'll need some wire cutters and or some pliers at the very end or to trim off your bottoms and to do part of your tail. We're going to start by making this center part of the body right now. And you take half of your wires and cross them like a T. And we're going to start by working about one third of the way down. We're going to leave this part empty. We're going to start about right here. You're going to take all of these eight wires and we're going to twist them around these wires. So we're going to do one at a time. And I'm going to hold the first one right here. Hold it in the middle, starting with this wire over the top of the other wires. You're going to bend them nice and tight around the other ones. I'm going to start with this top one first, bend it down and around, and then I'm going to bring this bottom one and bend it on the underside and go up. I'm going to repeat that exact same pattern for all the rest of the wires. They have to go the exact same way so that they're nice and even. The top side I'm bringing down and then this bottom side I'm bringing up. Continue that pattern until all of these wires are covered. Before you do the next step, you want to make sure that all of your wires are in the same direction. Mine are on the top side coming out on the left and the bottom coming out on the right. Make sure they're pretty tight and make sure they're pretty straight. It doesn't matter if they're not the same length because we can trim them off all at the end. You're going to turn your project this way. Still making sure that the covered part is on top where it, where it goes around the wire. Then this side's on the bottom. With, the top, with this side on the top part, you're going to start with these bottom two wires and you're just going to pull the bottom left one up to the opposite side over and around. Then you're going to pull from the other side on the bottom, the right bottom, you're going to pull up, over, and around. And you're going to do the same thing until you use each wire once. From the bottom left, up, over, and around. And then from the bottom right, you're going to go up, over, and around keeping it pretty tight. Continue that until you've done all the wires. We're going to make the tail. What we're going to do is we're going to take all of the wires but two. We're going to wrap them around each other so that you have two of them at the end. We're going to start with our very, very bottom wire. So whichever one is on the bottom, you're going to take that and you're going to start bending it around these other wires. Go kind of nice and tight so that it's lined up nice and neat. You will need the pliers when this wire is finished before you start your next wire. So as this wire finishes, you won't really be able to push it down with your fingers. You're going to need a pair of pliers to make that bend down there. And then when you start your next wire, you're going to pick up right here where you left off. You're going to pull whichever wire comes out where this one ends. I'm going to make that one go down a little bit more. So my next wire in line will be this one right here where that ends. And you're going to continue to do that wherever you leave off until all of the wires have been used except for two. Now that I have all my wires except for two wrapped around the tail, you're just going to take it and give it a nice bend and then you're going to take the other two wires and separate them. Make them go around in a nice little curve and you can connect them together at the top and then trim off the excess. The next step is to do the legs. You're going to separate these wires two by two by two by two and the same thing on the other side. Separate them by two, two, two in the front, two here. All you're going to do for the legs is you're just going to twist them nice and tight, starting up here by the body, and keep twisting them tight as you can until you get to the bottom, and do that for all the legs. Okay, after you've twisted all of your legs, you'll notice that some of your ends might be different lengths. That's fine. You can trim them off now or later. I'm going to wait and trim mine off later. So then what you're going to do is you're going to bend all of the legs up first and then down, maybe a nice angle right here, so that they're all going to be standing the same length. This might take a little while to get them all bent to the right height. So really what you want them to look like is this, so that they're all standing nice and even. Do that on both sides. 
and then we'll have to position them before we trim them off. For the head and pinchers, you're going to take two wires and save them aside for the head, and the other three wires are going to be for this pincher, and the other three wires are going to be for this pincher. So I'm going to take two of these, pull them up for the head, the top two, and then I'm going to take three wires over here, and then three wires over here. You're going to do the same thing you did when you wrapped the tail. On this side, you're going to take one of these wires, wrap it all the way around nice and tight, just like you did the tail. And on this side, you're going to take one wire, wrap it all the way around tight, just like you did the tail, trying to get it up as close as possible. After you do that, you're going to have to tighten it down with your pliers, and then you're going to separate your front pinchers, like you did with your tail. You'll have to tighten that one down with your pliers, and then these two will be in a nice little circle like our tail. After everything is done and you're ready to do your trimming, you want to make sure that these are nice and tight, and I used my pliers to do that. When you trim them off, you want to come as close as you can. Make sure you're aiming down at the table so it doesn't go shooting somewhere else. Trim these off nice and close, and most importantly, on all of your ends, make sure that they're not going to poke anybody. So you might want to twist them again. Make sure you do that on all the feet, on the other set of pinchers, and on the tail. The last step is to make your head. Um, you're going to take one of these wires first, kind of just curve it around, and make it in a nice round shape for your head, and then you'll do the same with the other wire until you tuck these ends in so they're not poking out. Now your scorpion's done. All of your heads are going to look a tad bit different. And you can take some time and reposition it however you want it to stand, whether you want it to be standing forward or touching on all legs, and position these. Once again, make sure all of your ends aren't going to be poking you or anybody else. And there he is.